I'll tell you what, uh, and I cut the thread. <laughs> You're going to say, boy, if fly tying was that easy, but everything that you need to know was in this fly. This essentially is a woolly worm. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can modify flies. It's so important to understand that, that if you see something you want to add, there isn't any rules. If you want to add it and change this fly pattern, do it. Now, the first thing that I would do to change this fly, I can't see it. When this is in the water, well, now, some of you out there, I know there's some kids out there with great eyes. You say, what do you mean, old man? You can't see this fly on the water? Well, someday you won't be able to see it either. And we would do a modification to add some color to it. Now, what I want to do is show you this fly right now and take a look at it, and I'll take you through it you'll see how the modification helped make it a better fly. We have this little Griffith's gnat. In fact, a lot of small flies are going to be like this. You're going to have trouble seeing. We're going to add a little strike indicator, as we call it, uh, for blind people like me. And we're going to use some Antron uh, this it comes in a variety of different uh, uh, brands. Uh, Zelon is another type of Antron that you can use. And we're going to tie it halfway down the shank. Notice right here, we're going to come halfway down and we're going to tie it in. And you can tie it a little longer and you can always trim it down. Now, we're going to still have the same problem with this material wanting to move, so we're going to pinch it and pull down. See how easy that is? And then we're going to wrap it to the back and trim. And from here on, uh, we're just going to wrap the body exactly the same way as we did before. And tie the fly. This is actually a very simple fly. Once you get proficient at it, it'll go very fast, and you can wrap a lot of them. And the nice thing about this fly is that it works. It works literally anywhere. I've caught fish uh, in about every country I've fished and it doesn't necessarily have to be trapped, too. Uh, bluegills are, this is a killer fly on bluegills, too. Okay, we're gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap the uh, body. We're gonna pull it up. Now, one thing we can do here is we can wrap around this, and you're gonna learn a little bit more about this when you uh, go into parachuting. That's gonna help pull it up a little bit. But actually, right now, the uh, material will do that. The body material, whoop, got away from me there. And we just tie it off. As you can see, now we've completed the fly. And now we're just going to trim this down, the little antron. As you can see, you're going to be able to see it. And we'll do a whip finish. We're going to concentrate again on a whip finish when we go to our next fly, which will be one that uh, is usually the first fly most fly tying classes get you to tie, and that's the uh, woolly bugger. We're going to tie in several modifications to that fly. So uh, first, let's take a look at the two flies and see which one you might be able to see. Now, that, that little bit of strike indicator will make a big difference on a lot of flies. And I'm going to tell you when you can add this uh, when we learn the other patterns. Now we're going to go on to that first pattern that most fly tying classes teach you, and that is the woolly bugger. We're going to add a couple little touches to the woolly bugger. This is going to help you make a more effective fly, and actually a fly that you can tie better than maybe what you can buy in a store. <laughs> 